rolling. So these two are stripping, that one we're leaving together for now. Yeah. Okay, so we need parts off of different ones here. Okay, the first thing I like to do is get these big nuts off. And hopefully we've got enough air pressure here to do that. Hopefully. You're a little loose. Yeah, you got a little bit of play there. Sixteenth. That ain't it. Got it. What if we use a big hammer on? Okay, we're gonna use metric. We're gonna use a six wall heavy duty as much as we can. Okay, I need to put this in gear somehow. Oh, you need gear? You jam it two gears at once, otherwise you take the nuts off. Well, there ain't no gear to jam it. <clears throat> well, you got a dog here. That's one of them. Then you got one on this side, don't you? Mm-hmm. There, it's jammed. Is the camera even on? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. I can see you there. I see you on the wall. smells like rotten oil when you unscrew it, not Loctite, so that's why I could just spin them off. Yeah. But the, yeah, the Loctite is holding up pretty good. You're pretty good. Okay, this one we can get with a tall one. This one here, I think we need a wrench. This is like a quarter inch. Yep, quarter inch. You got a quarter inch screwdriver in your back pocket? Yeah, that shit stinks. Hey, did you go to the bathroom yet? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. You don't like the smell of Harley gear oil? That's not a stink. That's not a gear oil. Okay, you're not filming what we're doing over here. Burn oil. You're supposed to be filming. How am I not? Because you can't see what I'm doing from 10 feet away. Yeah. What am I doing? Taking apart some little stuff. Little stuff. You got a hammer, you got a hammer right there? Right there, a little hammer. A little hammer. A little hammer. Basically, we're taking these screws right here. Okay, this one here is a fork in the way, so you gotta use a, a wrench on it to get it off. I have my torquing device right there. So that frees it up so it actually unscrews now. As I recall, this is a pain in the ass when we did this last time. What, like putting them all back together? Yeah. Yeah, it sucked. And these shafts are supposed to be pressed in somehow. We don't know how to get them out. No, they just slide out. You can pull them out. We can pull them out. Yeah. 
And grab some good old. This feels like it has Loctite on it. And grab some good old uh, pliers and twist them out. So do I have to take this all the way out or only halfway out? All the way. Yep. They both got to come all the way. Yeah, before I pull that one all the way, let's get this one loosened up. <coughs> See, I just cleared the socket. Across the street extensions. I probably should have brought another transmission that was complete, huh? More gear sets? <laughs> so we have. I have four. I have another gear set too. Four gear sets instead of one here. Yeah, it just doesn't have. I just don't have a um. It doesn't give me a neutral light. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you because the gear. neutral notch, the neutral notch is in a different spot. So you don't know how to put your bike in gear now because you don't have a LED light that comes on. You know, I don't even have any lights on my bike. Well, I know how to put it in gear, and I know when it's in neutral. I pretty, I know where my gears are at. I don't, I don't know why you need light for that. Okay, this still doesn't come out of here. So. No, it doesn't. Because you have to pull the shaft. This up. is supposed to come out without damaging it. Yep. No way of beating it out. Nope. You got to pull. Yep, jiggle and pull. That's why I said a pair of pliers. See? So you want to jiggle and pull it. You realize when you put pliers onto a nice machine surface, it doesn't help it very well. Mm, no, you put a rag over it. Yeah. There it See? Gotta hold your tongue. <coughs> right okay, that looks like the offset is. That's a good looking leg. Is it even offset at all? Or is it straight? Looks pretty like close. it's in the middle. Pretty close. Yeah. It doesn't go in like that, it goes in like this. Mm -hmm. okay, that one's good. This one over here. How's the forward offset? It goes toward the door, so it offsets to the door. Okay, that's that one. What else do you want off this? Uh, that's that's it. it. Oh, we need that ring. Or that one. Which yeah, one it worse? don't matter. Which one's worse? I don't know. Probably that one. I mean, no, pro that one's probably better. Because I think the leg was riding up against that one over there. Yeah. This was the one that... Um, this one's discolored. That one's thinner on one side. Thickness. No, I'm talking about the outside of it. Same fitment there. Because you remember, this is the one that the dog leg was uh, riding up against. Is that an offset issue? It, well, it was the last that's person that not, took it apart. But that's not in here, that's inside the gear set. Yeah, oh. but that was how we okay. found out the last person that took it apart didn't that one over there put the transmission really together. Edge. Which shifting we're going to use, this one or that one? It don't matter. I'm not going to, I have to pull that shift work out anyway when I pull the transmission out. So which out. one, are these both have the neutral in the same spot? or the one Yeah, one? they're both the same in the same spot. Do these ones work? Yeah, I'm not 100% because the M8 one is in my bike right now. So you know the difference between the M8 and this one? It's it, There's a difference, one's on one side and the other one's on the other side, but I can't, I can't necessarily tell you which one's which because... Mm -hmm. I don't have a uh, transmission out of the bike. I'm thinking that's the one that's going to be a good one. You got a new one of those bearing things? Because it's out now. Nothing wrong with that bearing. Nothing wrong with that bearing? Nope, oh, it's good. Where's the notch? Got a notch right there. Yeah, they're in the same spot. Same spot. Yeah. So these are either good or they're bad, we don't know which. Right. Okay, so we got a problem with the with one that's not right. So this is not the one we took apart before. No. So this one should be correct. Yeah. That one we don't know. We don't know. This one we should know. Okay. Now to get these out, we got to press on them a little bit. Those are bad shabs. 
Just whack them. How are you going to whack them? Whack them with a hammer. Why the shaft bad? You see that main shaft? Where's the shaft bad? Oh. That ain't that bad, but... That one ain't that bad. That's an electrical cord. How did we do this the last time? Well, if you push it like this, it's going to want to break the door this way. And if you push it like this, it's going to want to break the door that way. It's going to want to break it the other way. That's fine. Let's see, there's more strength this way. Yeah, they don't take much pressing power anyway. And this one we don't care about, and this one we do. There's a dowel pin here, so it's not letting me fully engage it. Dang. See? You just tapped it in and it wanted to come out. That looks like the appropriate tool right there. <laughs> it coming out. It doesn't matter anyway. I got this is the one we care about. One has to come out halfway, then the other one will come out all the way, remember? I don't. Have some tension on that. You got it? Mm-hmm. We're binding up. Bind up again. You're catching the top gear. Now I'm back over here. Now we don't care about the main shaft, we care about the short one, ready? Right? Mm-hmm. Keep your fingers out because the other one's gonna hit the floor. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to hold on to this one because that was a good one with the parts we wanted on it. Oh. That's fine. And that one just put a hole right through my rug there, see that? See how I put a hole in my rug? Well, why is the rug like that? Well, usually it doesn't hurt it, but in this case it put a hole right through it because it has a heavy load on it. And someone let everything drop out instead of only half like I said they were going to do. I didn't expect that one to drop. It was the one that was going to fall out. They both were coming out. <sighs> They were both halfway out. They don't live. Now you broke my rug, you broke my damn gear set, you lost the washer to go in between, now I have no idea what fell out. So I don't know what parts are in or not here because we let it drop. Well, we got another one right here we got to press out anyway. So where did that one come from? Huh? Where'd that washer come from? Up front. Where'd this washer come from? Up front. On which side? Left or right? Front or back? Main or counter? Did it come off of here or did it come off of this one? You didn't catch it, so I don't know where it came from. Well, you got two other transmissions, that'll yeah, tell you. you were supposed to do the job, and you didn't do it. You had one job to do, hold on the counter shaft. Don't put your finger where that one's going to be, because it's going to fall. So I don't know where that's from. I'm still on the word for this. I didn't have to take the other one apart. No, I do. Well, we don't know if it's right or wrong, because we don't know. You're going to have to take this one apart anyway. I want this door. You're all my rug now. And another bearing. <sighs> Don't know where that goes either. Alright, so we basically lost everything that we need to know. We still don't know where anything else. Yeah, that was a failure. See how you let customers help you? Okay, this is the one that broke that didn't work right. What was wrong with this one? Uh, it had third gear problems. Is that the one? But that's not the one off of eBay. That is the one off of eBay. It's off the NBC. This one might be put together correctly. Maybe. But we don't know for sure. Now, it looks like you didn't have to take this out because that came out with that on there. So what exactly does that do? Nothing. It just holds that. It just aligns that shim, I'm assuming. It holds this in. It does not hold the fork. Yeah, it doesn't hold the You don't have to the take fork. this apart to get the fork out. Yeah. So there's no reason to take that apart. Absolutely not.
I don't want to force it because it doesn't it never gets down here. So this one does not want to come up. Okay, and there's nothing holding on, there's no rib on there. Mm -hmm. It's a jiggle and pull movement. I leverage it. Okay, so you never have to pull this out to do what we need to do. So that saves some work right there. I like that. <clears throat> okay, now, all we gotta do now is, is do what? Prize them out. Hold on to this one, don't let it hit the ground, so we don't lose any of the parts, so we know where they go. Yeah. This one here we don't care about. Yeah. But I'll hold on to this one, because I won't find a hole in my rug. Well, I need that one. I need both of those shafts. I thought this was the bad one. No, that transmission is good. good. Okay, here's the next one of these. Put that one out of the way, it's fine. So this is the one we do care about. Right? Okay, put your hand on the gear set. Which one? Uh, your side is the one we're worrying about. Okay. Which one are we on? I don't know. I didn't look when you put it in. Which one are we on? I didn't look when you put are it in. Are we on this one? Are we on this one? They both fell. So. Are we on this one right now or this one? No, but when you pushed on okay, it, they both fell. Which one are we on right now? Is the one My hand on? is on the one that needs to be grabbed. Washers on your side. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go. Washers on counter shaft. There is no washer on this side. So the one piece assembly has no extra parts because it's, it's machined into the surface. No separate parts to worry about. So you have to worry about anything falling out when you pull this one out. And this is the one we're going to use because it's a good one, right? Mm -hmm. So that goes on that side down there where it's good. Okay, this one we don't care anything about this one, right? No. So this one's garbage for now. Okay, this set over here we care about. Mm -hmm. So that has a washer. Doesn't appear to matter which way it goes on. And we were having a problem with all the guts falling out of these things too when we were doing it. We need that piece there, right? Mm hmm Now, all of this has to come apart to put that in there because this is fixed on this side. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's the part that likes to fuck with us. This must have come out of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Needs a snap removed or something. The Those two little metal clips. This is where the keys have to screw with this is. Yep. So that washer retains those clips, and when the washer drops down, when you're trying to put it together, because you have to press on it upside down, mm -hmm. all the junk falls out. And if you gotta use a big hammer to do it, it probably already fell out. So those we need to reuse. There's an offset on this. So the shallow side is up toward the clips. 
We'll put the clips on that side so we know that's how it goes. We know this goes upside down and all that. What do we got on this side? Okay, shoulder goes that way. Another bearing in here. Another clip, probably. The washer, black thing, and clip. And the shoulder goes toward the other one. Now, this one is black and the other one is silver, or is it different? What? The washer? Yeah. Exactly same. the same. Same thing. Half moon clips again. The half moon clips hold the black thing in. These are look the same. That thing right there. Well, the black washer is plain. More clips. The bearing's going to come apart. Titty. Why do you have another titty washer? Because there's clips right there. On this? Yep, there they went. More clips. Oh, they got a sleeve on that thing. Mm -hmm. oh. But that didn't need to come out to get this out. Okay, this looks fine. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Nice and smooth, it's not all burn up like your last one, so it looks good. That should be a good part. Do some more clips on that one. So all these clips and stuff go in here. I really want to pull this short shaft off. Mm -hmm. Because those metal, these should be holding something in between them. Yes, clips. I'm not sure why they got clips on this side. So the clips re go inside this recess. That's what holds them together. I don't understand why they have that in there because it could just be a straight washer, it could float. I guess they're worried about this gear moving up and down. Causing the binding, I guess. I don't think it really matters if it does, but they think it does, so it does, I guess. right there. Oh, this is the whole thing that's on there. Mm-hmm. Recess to the inside. Goes completely over it. And that's the part we have the problem with because this falls out and the clips come out. Mm -hmm. 
which we got a lot of, we got a lot of grease in there to retain all that when we do that. To get it back together correctly. <clears throat> and this goes on here like that to hold it together. And that's how that goes. Simple. Pile that for Okay, what was wrong with yours? Mm hmm? You think yours might be put together wrong? No, mine is put together right. I didn't have third gear problems after we put that together. You did? I you have a problem with shifting this thing. Uh, I believe by that time I had probably bad clutches, a bad slave cylinder. You had, you had other issues? Yeah, I was putting, I was doing too much crap. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll get the support. And then we gotta clean everything all up, and I guess we'll be back.